Right guys, welcome back to the ICD Games Daily Dollop of Maths uh, for year one and year two, keeping the skills bubbling over for, um, while we can't be at school. This is day 13. Um, uh, please be sat with an adult. Please have a piece of paper and a pencil ready. And please um, call out. Love your mistakes. Join in. Okay, we're counting backwards in ones. So 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41. Now I'm just going to switch this off. What's one less than 41? One less than 41. Here it comes. That's one less than 41. What's one less than 41? Yeah, 40. Okay. What's one less than 40? There it is. What's one less than 40? Yeah, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31. 30. Right, okay, now I'm going to switch the numbers off. What's one less than 30? Here it comes, one less than 30. Yeah, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. Okay, I'm going to switch the numbers off again. What's one less than 20? One less than 20. Here it comes. That's one less than 20. What's that? Yeah, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good job, guys. Okay, right, we're going to count backwards in ones from 30 on here. Ready? Please call out. Please join in. It's, you've got to get it your muscle memory in your brain so that you can never get it wrong. So come on, year twos, you join in as well. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. What's the next one? One less than 21? 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good jobs, guys. Okay. Now, double dog, okie dokie. Now, I'll tell you what, we haven't done any shape, have we? So, uh, in these videos, so let's do some shape. So I'm shining a torch onto a shape, okay, and we're going to try and talk about shapes as we do it, and then you have to tell me what shape is, okay? So, so now this is called um, a corner, but the best, the better maths term for it is a, a vertex, a vertex. And it's just another posh word for corner. Uh, there's one vertex, two vertices. That's like more than one vertex. You don't say vertexes. One vertex. Two vertex. No, we don't say two two vertex. We say one vertex, two vertices, three vertices, four vertices. One, two, three, four. What's that shape? Yeah, it's a square, but it just turned around a little bit, isn't it? Still a square. Okay, here comes our next one. Mm, could, could it be a square still? It could be a square, couldn't it? Could it still be a square? Why not? Couldn't be a square anymore, could it? And it's got a short side and another short side and a long side. Let's count the vertices. I'm going to be efficient. I'm going to count from the top. One, two, three, four. Well, four is a square. That's a square, isn't it? What? Huh? Isn't it a square? What is it? A rectangle. It's got two short sides and two long sides. Oh, I like it. Okay, here we go. Here's our next one. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, okay. Hmm. Could it be a square? I've got rectangle in my mind at the minute. Oh, 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 oh hello. Oh. Let's count the vertices. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hmm, now hang on a minute. Bike with three wheels is called a tricycle. A bike with 
yeah, fight with three wheels is called tricycle. A shape with three sides is called a triangle. Here's your next one. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, five sides, five vertices. Sorry, five corners, five vertices. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, what could that be? Give you a clue. Pa, 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 pa. Pentagon. Now, a very nice lady that I teach with uh, uh, at the school I was at, uh, uh, she always teaches her children to remember a pentagon as being a bit like a something else that starts with pen called a penguin. You imagine that you've drawn a penguin in there. You've got a foot there, you've got a foot there, and a flipper there, and a flipper there, and the beak up there. So pentagon is a bit like a penguin. There's the penguin's body. There's a foot. There's a foot. There's a flipper, there's a flipper, and there's a beak. I think that's very good. Well done, her. Right, okay, now next job. Let's do something else. So, this is going to look easy, year two. So, year two is going to say, uh, Mr. Barrett, that looks easy. But we are going to practice the numbers that make six. And the reason we're going to practice the numbers that make six is we're going to do some much harder calculations with six. And uh, you may think that you're an expert on six, but you don't, you need to know it just like that. If I click of her fingers, you need to know numbers that make six. So here's my my hole, here's one part, and here's another part. Pause the video now and write all the ways of making six for me. Pause the video. Okay, now we're going to find all the ways of making six. So here's six. We can have zero and six. We can have one and five. We can have two and four we can have three and three double three that's a double we can have four again and two just going the other way around we can have five and one or we can have six and zero okay now we're going to use that now let's just remind ourselves here's our 10 frame that's what six looks like six and zero just going to swap it over. There's another way, five and one. Another way, four and two. Another way, three and three. Okay, so we've got all those different ways of making six. And we're going to use, oh, hello, sorry, I should have cleared that. We're going to use that skill now in some uh, addition. Okay, now let's have a look. Let me write something down. We're going to do, we're going to do um, eight add six okay we're going to calculate eight out add six now one way you might do it is you might say well i know i'm just going to do it on my fingers make the biggest number first and count on my fingers but in life you don't have enough fingers so we're going to i'm going to show you um how you can do that uh using uh your knowledge of number facts okay so we've got eight and we've got six now I'm going to put my eight on my number line. I've got a number line here. Look, I'm going to put eight on here. Are you ready? I'm going to let it go. There's eight. I've put the eight on already. Okay, it got me to eight. Okay. Now, so let me just draw a jump. Ooh, that's eight. Now, when you're adding numbers in your head, you, it's really helpful to be able to jump to the next ten. So bridge, look, it looks like a bridge, to the next 10. This is a question mark. That means what is it? That's a question. We want to know how far it is from 8 to jump to the next 10. Now we know our number facts to 10. Mm, and 8 feeling great. Yeah, 2 and 8 feeling great. This is 2. So if we're going to use 2 of the six. Do you remember we knew that two and something else makes six? I'm just going to cross them out of my six. That might help. Two and what makes six? Yeah, two and four. Two and four makes six. So in my head now, I know that I can, if I'm adding eight and six, I could add the two first and then add the other four. So here we go. I'm going to add the two first to get me to ten. So I've done that bit. Sorry, whoops. Done that bit. Doop, doop. Okay. Now I'm going to add. Oh, here we go. There's the two. I've done that. Now I'm going to add the other four. Okay. Here comes the other four. Now if I'm starting at ten and I'm adding on four, 
do my little jump. Where have we got to? Oi, dog, give over. Where have we got to? We started at 10. Four more. It's just going to go into this placeholder here. It's just going to go into that. Oh, that's actually still 10. <laughs> it's going to be 14. So 8 add 6 is 14. Let's do another one. This is kind of new stuff. It's definitely for year 1s. Um, it shouldn't be for year 2s, but it's just such an incredibly useful skill. Now we're going to do 9 add 6. We're still use adding 6 each time because we've been practicing our numbers that make 6. So here we go. We've got, let's get 9. Let's get 6. So I'm going to put 9 on. And I'm going to put 6 on. Oh, it's better if they were different colours. I wanted to see that. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start. So I've got 9 add 6. I'm going to start by putting um, 9 on my number line. Okay. Now, if I was doing 9 add 6 in my head, I could count on on my fingers, but that's not going to work for the rest of my life. I need other strategies. So, from this is 9. How far is it from 9 to jump to the next friendly number? To bridge to the next friendly number? To bridge to the next multiple of 10? How far is it? And 9 feeling fine. Yeah, it's 1, isn't it? So basically we're looking for a way of splitting up 6 into 1 and a bit more. Okay, so I'm going to use 1. How many is left? Yeah, 5. Hang on a minute, let's put that on. So we've got 1 and 5. So here we go. I'm going to add 1. That's my first one. There's my 1 there. If I did the 1, that's got me to the 10. That's got me to that friendly number. So now, now I've added what the 1 of the 6. I need to add what's left of the 6. What's left of the 6 now? What's left of that 6? Yes, 5. Now, I'm at a really friendly number. It's really easy to add 5 to that number. I just slip it in this placeholder. 15. So I added 21. And I added 5. Get, got me to 15. So the answer is 15. Let's try another one. Do, do, clear that. Clear that. Uh, let's do. Oh, let's take it to the next level. Let's do. This is a year two. E one. Don't want to hear any complaints from year two. Seventeen. Add six. There we go. Now, if you were doing this on your fingers, that would you know you could succeed. But there are other ways of doing it. Let's do seventeen. Add six. So here we go. 17 is made out of 10, that means 10, and 7. There's 7, okay. 6. There we go. It just needs the 6. Right. I am going to start by putting this number on the number line in my head. I'm putting, oh, sorry, it'd be better if they're the same colour. 17 on, and that was made out of 10 and 7. So I'm going to put 7 on as well. Okay. Year ones, if you're feeling a bit wobbly, don't worry too much. I'm pushing this a little bit. But year twos, you really should be on the ball with this. I'm at 17, aren't I? Yeah? Now, what do you add to 17 to get to the next 10? Mm, mm, and 7 made in heaven. Mm, and 7 made in heaven. What do you add? Look, there's a bit here, a bit here, a bit here. What do you add to 17 to get to the next 10? Yeah, 3. 3 and 7 made in heaven. So we're going to break up that 6. Partition it into three and something else. What's the other, th uh, what, what do you add to three to make six? Yes, it's three. So, oh, hang on, let's draw some lines on to catch up with where we are. We've got 17. We want a bridge to the next multiple of 10. And we've said, how far is it? We've said it's three. So let's put three of the six on. We've used three of them. How much of the six is left? Yeah, three. Okay. We've added the other three. We're on 20. We've got to 20 in our heads. If you're adding three onto 20, you're just slipping it into this placeholder box here, this placeholder piece here. It's going to be 
23. Oh, that was quite tricky, that one, wasn't it? Sorry, I was pushing it a bit there, wasn't I? Sorry about that. Okay, last job. I'm going to put the link to this game in the um, description box below. Um, year ones, if you fancy something extra to do, why don't you practice ways of making numbers within, facts within 10? Year twos, you practice facts within 20, okay? I'm going to do facts within 10. I think we've got two minutes to answer as many as we can. Here's the timer. Two minutes to answer as many as we can to make a lovely fruit smoothie. Okay, five and four. Ooh, five and four, five and four. I think that's nine. Four and zero. Oh, easy. One and nine. Four and three. Uh, four and three, whisper to your friend. Yeah, seven. One and four. Mm, five. Six and one. One more than six. Yeah, seven. One and two. Yeah, three. Five and two. Yeah, seven. Two and zero. Seven and one. Yeah, eight. Two and six, or six and two, put the biggest number first. Yeah, eight. One and one. Oh, easy. Seven and two. Seven add two. Yeah, nine. One and six. Yeah, seven. Seven and zero. Yeah, seven, easy. Five and five. Oh, know that one. Three add one. Yeah. Three and five. Five and three. What's that one? Yeah, it's eight. Oh, hurry now. Six and two. Oh. Eight. One and four and one. Four. Let's see if I can say it. Four and one. Six add three. Six add three. What is it, guys? Yeah, nine. Eight and zero. Yeah, just eight. Oh, one add seven. Time's running out. Mm, one add seven. Three and zero, what is it? Oh, two and two, what's that one? Two and two is, oh, I ran out of time. Press to start the smoothie maker. So we scored 24. Right, I got 24. I wonder if you guys can beat 24. That's not a bad score, 24. I wonder if you can beat that. Okay, so I'll put that link, link to that game um, uh, in the description box, description box below. So uh, you get for your reward today. On your bicycle, there is a button on the handlebars and you're being chased by your friends and you're pedaling along really quickly, pedally, 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 pedal. And then when you press the button, um, your rear tire lights up neon and lots of uh, stars come firing out of your rear tire um, so they're uh, surprised by all the stars and the neon lights in your rear tire and then you whoosh off okay awesome job guys um see you next time thanks for listening and joining in well done